Hey everybody, it's TJ with Roller Skate Universe and today I'm going to be spending a little bit of time with the Bont FXX wheels. So stay tuned because we're going to go a little bit in depth and tell you all the things they don't talk about online. The Bont FXX wheel is now on its 11th iteration. It comes in both the 59mm and the 63mm sizes, all for an MSRP of around $210 at the time of this review. Now I'm going to be real with you. I actually like these wheels. I like the colorways on them. I didn't really like the black on pink with the hubs. That's okay. I like the color of the urethane itself. They picked a really, really, really good color way on uh, both of those urethanes. The spoke pattern though, the hub pattern on those is like really, really cool. And they got the hub diameter like just right. I guess I'd really have to say that the only downsides I could really find about them was uh, the inconsistency in the labeling of the hardnesses. Um, the 92A and the 96A skated exactly the same. They felt exactly the same between the two. There felt like no difference at all was there between the two hardnesses. With the bearing fitment, that was the only consistent part was the fact that they consistently would not go in. However, uh, once they were in, everything was great, um, other than the fact that uh, they slid out on me a lot. Um, so I'm sure once the grooves get broken down a little bit and the peaks get broken down, they're going to be pretty sweet. Um, but until then, they just they really didn't hook up very well for me at all. That was my experience with them. Um, but also uh, the bearing fitment. They were loose in the bores after a while of, of hard skating and they did start to develop a click when turning in, uh, in two of the wheels out of the eight. Now as far as the bearings not going in, what I mean by that is that the bearings would not go in, tried cubes, they finally went in. Uh, cheese balls, bones reds, K, uh, J Japanese KSKs and I think some Bionics. None of them wanted to go in even with a press, even with oil. Sorry, for 200 plus dollars you shouldn't have to sand, freeze, heat or anything to get any bearing to go in any wheel regardless of brand. Before anybody gets the torches and the pitchforks at the ready to come after me, please don't. Uh, this is just my opinion. I really don't think that any wheel of this price range should have any of these kinds of problems. Uh, that's nothing against uh, this brand at all. Uh, I actually do like the product. It's, it's not bad. Um, just feel like this shouldn't be happening. I'd also like to see what they'd be like if I had just a little bit more time with them. However, my time with those is limited. Uh, the owner of those wheels is actually sending those out to get cut down uh, to a smaller size. Uh, so thank you very much to uh, that person for letting me use those wheels for this test. Uh, it was requested that I test these. Uh, so, you know, there's no bias whatsoever there uh, in this review so in conclusion would I buy them yeah I would buy them uh, I would just hope that the manufacturer gets a few of these things under control but it's still a decent product so go out there and check out a pair today this is TJ with roller skate universe as usual happy skating and thank you for taking the time to watch this